everyone and welcome to a new video from Your Destiny. I'm Eddie the Chump and today, after all the grinding, after all the lack of sleep to catch up on people who had the game pre-release, finally we get to the real meat of the game. Sweet, sweet loot baby. And not just any loot fam, my favourite gun of all time from Destiny. That's right, it's the Mida multi-tool. Now this video is going to contain a pseudo review, but mainly it's going to be a step-by-step -step guide in how to get this monster of a scout rifle. And I have to say, Bungie have done what I really hoped they would. They've made getting some of the top tier loot an absolute joy by incorporating them into their own long-form quest. Fans of the channel will know I've made reference to the guild quest lines from Elder Scrolls as a great template for how you could do this. Well guess what? That's how to get the Mida, and it's a great time. So let's get you from where you are with no Mida to speak of, to where you want to be, which is with one in your inventory. Well, one and a half actually. It's a funny story. So first things first, if you have got five blue or better scout rifles that you don't want, save them for the love of God. Trust me, don't dismantle them yet. It'll save you time on this quest if you have them in your vault. The actual beginning requirement is that you finish the campaign of Destiny 2. A lot of content opens up after that, but in particular, there are zone specific quest lines. The Mida quest starts in the EDZ, in the first area where you can fast travel to, called Trostland, and it begins with this blue questline called Enhance. It's a multi-part quest that centers around Fallen who are altering their ether and becoming more powerful. Fair warning, the recommended power level is 260. That's higher than the Nightfall standard mode. Now I did this under leveled and it was really really difficult. Most of the time it doesn't matter so much as you get to respawn freely, but there are moments with some majors and ultras that will really test you if you choose to do this when badly under leveled like I was. When you complete this quest Line, Devrim K will thank you and give you the Mida mini tool. Cute, right? Yes, it is, but the Mida is actually a fair bit away still. Once you have the mini tool, Banshee at the tower will have a quest for you. He'll give you a quest item which must stay in your kinetic inventory to log progress. This too is multi tiered. The first step is kill 50 enemies with a precision headshot from a scout rifle and get 25 multi kills without reloading with a scout as well. Once you've done that, he'll replace that quest item with another. This one requires you to dismantle five precious scout rifles, blue or better. Legendaries do not count for more, so try not to waste them unless it's a weapon that you were going to get rid of anyway. I hope you save them like I warned you to earlier, this part can take a while if you're relying on RNG. If you don't have five scout rifles, my recommendation is to do as many heroic public events as possible. Now you can dismantle either kinetic or energy scout, so don't worry about that. Once that quest is done, Banshee will give you the final quest item, which requires you to get 50 airborne SMG kills. I I know it's weird and a bit awkward, but come on, it's the Mida. Once you've done that, Banshee will have a shiny new gun for you to collect. This version is almost exactly the same as the Destiny 1 version, but it has a smaller clip and now comes with high cal rounds. That's a step up, boys and girls. Enjoy the hit flinch enemies in Crucible. This sounds a bit more straightforward than it is. It takes quite a bit of time if you don't know about the scout dismantling part beforehand. But that's what a guide like this is for. As an exotic, it will drop significantly higher than your current light. I got mine while I was 265 and it dropped at 280. A quick word on the synergy it has with the mini tool, you won't believe how fast you move with both equipped. When you have the Mida out, it's pretty standard multi-tool speed advantage type stuff. But when you hit triangle and get the mini tool out, you're like a speed demon, it's nuts. I've used it in Crucible to escape certain death multiple times. Try it out, see what you think. As for the very quick review, let's talk Crucible first. I love it, especially in the 4v4 context of Destiny 2. I reckon it's pretty close to top of the meta. Obviously it's not ideal for maps that are all close up and in your face, but because of high cal rounds, it is doable, especially with the mini tool as your energy weapon. Soften them up with the Mida, then SMG spray them down. I might evolve to running it with a hand cannon. I still have to make up my mind about the speed bonus of running the two Midas together long term, especially against good players. As a combo it might struggle, but the Mida itself is definitely worth the time investment, especially for that persistent radar. Not a lot of people have anything with third eye, so you'll be at a distinct advantage. As for PvE, it's a good to solve solid scout choice. It's my highest light primary so I do use it, but I'm sure there's better PvE exotic primaries out there. In summary, I'm just so happy I got this gun. I hope you guys really enjoy it too. Just as I hope you enjoyed this video. If you never want to miss another video of us again, please click the bell icon next to the subscribe button on our channel to join the notification squad. You'll be in good company. And finally, please check out our Twitter. It's where you can find updates about new videos and other cool stuff. Good luck with the quest and I'll see you guys in the next exotic guide.